college, am I right? Oh, hey, college, am I right? What's up, lady? I was drinking in the bushes, but that's not important. What's important? <laughs> this guy's a real winner. Fucking Doug Cheston. Doug Cheston, all right. Kind of like this guy's energy. <laughs> Didn't you hear him? He's Doug Cheston. Do one or ideally all of you want to have sex tonight and get in on the ground floor of my inheritance? Doug Cheston wow. gets wow. ambition from his father. But why was he drinking in the bushes? I'm what you're missing. Me, Me and my Doug Cheston. Ch Doug Cheston. Trust oh. fun. <laughs> Well, Doug Cheston is gone, but oh, he's still here. I was gonna say he will be missed. Charting a shining future for all humanity. Nerd! <laughs> Who talks like that? You do. <laughs> if this is some joke or some weird sex shit, my dad's gonna sue you <laughs> in the Stone Age. Don't you know who I am? Jesus. I'm. Oh my God. Oh, oh shit! I'm Doug Cheston. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <laughs> You're going to be beautiful. You're going to be in. Oh, that was a dark one. I didn't notice. Is there increased blood every time? Toss me the saline. Blood pressure's cratering. Someone get Dr. Barclay in here. I'm getting a line started. That's like a huge medical risk for treating heroes too. You never know what. How they'll react to things. Yeah, there you go. I've studied what? monster girls' physiology you extensively. Do. Please stand aside. Save us, robot. Get him out of here. No, no. Why is everyone so judgmental? Begin a saline infusion of two percent belladonna root, five percent wolfsbane. We don't have that. Yeah, what, why would they it. have wolfsbane? <laughs> What what is happening? It is not a good world to be a doctor, honestly. You need a specialist for this. What was that? He's got a hole all the way through. Careful. Pulse is dropping. Oh my god, is that Mark? Okay, I'm man. Sad face, sad face. Comforting face, comforting face. Oh, it's way worse than you know, Debbie. Way worse. And you already know a lot. I knew you'd pull through. Did you, though? Did you? Six days. Six days? No. No, no, I, I was I'm late for my. Uh, yeah. Um, Don't worry. This is the one excuse okay. that. I covered for you. Yeah. Told her you got hit by a bus. Monster girl. Still unconscious. But alive is what I'm hearing. What's more interesting to me is why he would do it. He's a demon. Here's your why. I thought I knew him. That's all. All his covers are just lazy. Lazy. I'd basically already dumped you that night. I know, and I've thought a lot about that these last couple of days. But look at my look at my bruises. You let me start over. And can we do that again? Start over? Yeah, but you're just gonna go in circles till you resolve this issue. You're right. Yeah, I don't deserve to start over. Nah, she's gonna take you back. Come on. Hey, handsome Mark Grayson. Come on. Anyway, he's at upstate U. I'm going for a tour on Friday. Staying over. They have a very handsome pre-med program. Did I say handsome? I meant world class, but also handsome. Can I come? What? What messages did he divine from that poster? William needs some attention. He's such a good friend. Like he's been looking out for Mark since they won. <laughs> Mark just keeps abandoning him or not listening to him. Mark, uh oh. Uh oh. This is a transgression in a way. For talking to Amber when I was being hurt, in his room. So... Transgressions. The transgressions. <laughs> I'm skipping college anyway. What? Why? Your grades are way better than Why mine. would you go to college <laughs> if you could... I think I can help more people by just helping them. Right. Bring food to the starving. You know, make a real difference. This normal life thing is one of the most ridiculous aspects of the superhero trope. I mean, unless there's a goal you're more connected to than this, and university is an essential stepping stone to that. But for Mark and Eve, it seems like a colossal waste of their talent to be spending time in class with like these dipshit professors. Also, I've been to college. Mark will not survive the attendance policy. And if you have not yet been to university, let me tell you, there's nothing university professors like more than attendance policies. They love it. They love it. It's like their lifeblood. I'm getting a little bit heated here for some reason. I think I haven't quite resolved some of my, my issues, my grudges with higher education. But it's just that if I know the material, <laughs> why do I need to go? You know, if I can read the textbook, if you're literally doing slides from the textbook and that's the whole thing, I don't need to Spend an hour in your class. I can just read the textbook in five minutes and I'm done. I can live my life in better ways, you know? Just because I'm a student doesn't mean I don't have things to do. And no, it is not your job to teach me how to be a good person. And let's face it, if you need to rely on an attendance policy to get kids into class, you're probably not that interesting and probably don't have that much to say about life. Yeah, I get it. Huh. Thought you'd try and talk me out of it. No. Really go. Go for it. Maybe we both need a fresh start. Mark? 
This is a great conversation, but here? the fact that they're in his room okay, makes me Mom. nervous. So where are you? Yeah, it was a good call. She's very responsible with this whole thing. But I feel like they're sort of destined, no? Because Amber doesn't understand, and it's not her fault for not understanding. He's lying to her, essentially. Water flows downhill. You know what I'm saying? Especially in relationships. No drugs. And no sex. I was wondering if she was going to say that. <laughs> no sex. Got it. I think it might be too late for that. good care of them, Mrs. Grayson. Yeah, Will is secretly the most devious out of all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's a metaphor for the sex. <laughs> all the sex they're going to be having. You're on a deadline for the book. Isn't that what you told me? Or oh, was a book? I mistaken? No, that's right. Then you've got work to do, don't you? I feel like he's the kind of guy who has affairs. I wonder how many affairs he's had. Am I crazy about that? Why did you put it up there? You literally can like throw it into space. Is it a souvenir, Omni Man? I don't want to bore you guys anymore about Rick. <laughs> they talked about him the whole way. They're gonna be so underwhelmed now because he's on a pedestal. What? Oh, he's pretty great. Rick? Look at that he's jaw. Friends, Mark. Now that's an anime job. I ever saw one. So much about you. Hey. They're not nice kidding. Nice to meet you guys. Let me grab your bags. And a gentleman. I like the way you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need a fresh start, somewhere new, somewhere that's not here. What about school or, or college? I've got enough Stop. credits to graduate and college can wait. Samantha, I'm not gonna watch you ruin your life. You have no perspective, no perspective. This is the opposite of what you should be doing with your life. And what would that be, dad? Be just like you, scared little man with three colored pens. A normal life, a house, a Think too small. Kids. That's what's best for you, Dad. I sympathize on some level. Like, you know, he doesn't want her to have harm befall her. That makes sense. This is not the way. And he just pushed her away. He drove her all the way away. And a lot of it's his own anxiety, his own fear. That's why I arranged a little biology class sit-in for you guys. You're still thinking pre-med, right, William? Oh, they're actually gonna do the college stuff? Doug Cheston, the man himself. Our focus is therefore on extending quality of life, even if we can't extend life itself. Oh, Please. Ah, Mr. Sinclair, once again, it seems you have an opinion to share. This was me in college. Who's the dick? Hey. <laughs> All human failings are simply engineering challenges crying out to be solved. Dramatic much? I'm sorry. I'm not. At least he's livening up this jerk. dull class. No, he's not. What's your problem, Sinclair? My problem? He's just, he's having a, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I, am I talking at a school here? He's talking a little bit condescendingly. That could, that could be improved. I mean, from where I'm sitting in this classroom, the teacher wasn't really saying anything of great interest. He's saying sort of basic stuff. This is fun, no? And I say that as a teacher too. I love it when students care. At least this guy is interested. This is one of the difficult things about any kind of idea sharing. You know, idea sharing happens better when you have it against something, against the backboard. It's one of the reasons why I love doing reaction videos is because it gives me the show to talk about. If I'm just sitting here talking about my thoughts, it's sort of like, I don't know what the hell to say. So as a teacher, if you have an idea that you're sharing, knowing where the students are is really important because it helps you sort of gravitate towards a mean, you know, a mean of understanding instead of just you talking into a vacuum. I will always love students who speak out like that, even if what they're saying is totally absurd to my ears, especially if it's totally absurd. I just care that they're actually engaged in it. So this is an opportunity for discussion. Am I crazy? Maybe it's because I'm an ENTP and we love to argue. My problem is this school of idiots. <laughs> All right, well, that was a little bit rude. I kind of feel for this guy. I I'm not going to lie. Muscular, assertive. Classic alpha male. Hey, nice ass. Don't say those compliments to him. <laughs> you can return when you're ready to learn. Then I'll see you at exams. He's gonna ace the exams too. As oh, I was how dare saying, you disagree with the professor? I'm on his side. I'm so here for this Eve solo adventure. Well, I like the view. Oh yeah, she could just make whatever she wants. Could she make food? She literally just, just doesn't need anything. Why would she go to college? <laughs> she doesn't like even need money. She just makes what she needs. I feel sorry for him. He needs friends more than anything. That is so oh, awful. How dare you? <laughs> if you two want some time to wander, we can meet back here in a few hours. Hint, hint. It's a great idea. See you both back here in a while. It's okay if you're late. Come on. Let's go see what this place is really like. And Mark's gonna extra enjoy this just because of all the hard work he puts in. And the fact that it's all sort of new, like this whole life is new. I'm kind of glad to see that his experience, his near-death experience, didn't break him. I was sort of worried about that last episode. But he just seems like his normal, optimistic self. Campus exploration montage. You're all smiles now. <laughs> He's having yeah. a great time. I guess I kind of like it here. It's okay. Well, maybe you could go to college then. Hey, lovebirds. Did you have a good time? 
Oh my god. Is this where, where Ember learns about Mark's true identity? Is this one of those experiments of whoever got, uh, what's his name? Doug Cheston? How important is your identity, really? Yeah. No, just, no, Mark, do it. Do it. Kick his ass. This guy truly is great. <laughs> Will wasn't lying. Oh no, oh no! Oh no! Okay. This is a brave group of kids. Mark! If Will dies, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, right. He can change and do both. Imagine how bad you'd feel though if like you were changing and Will died. <laughs> oh no! Good, let's get this out in the open. Nice combo. Is that... Is it Doug Cheston? Here lies Doug Cheston, trust fund kid and bush drinker. Who was that? That... that was Man-Vincible. Man-Vincible, yes, everyone's favorite hero. Guys, the police are on their way. Where the hell did you go? <sighs> Eve was wrong about you. So was I. Wait! Amber! Yeah, it's definitely my least, least favorite part of this whole thing. This is also what I didn't like about the, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. For me as a viewer, it just feels like an obstacle to what could, you know, be a good social relationship. And there's sort of no real parallel except for just like, logistics sometimes make dating difficult, and it's like, yeah, that's true. And for me, I feel like the human equivalent in terms of what actually would be good or what's the lesson is to be honest, which is counter to the hero trope. And if that's not the solution, then I guess the solution is like, date a superhero, which is unsatisfying, but it's hard for me to connect with this asymmetry of information. You know what makes her extra bad is that Amber is a cool character and she's sort of reduced to a nothing. She's sort of reduced to just like hurt girlfriend when she's so much more than that like we've seen so much character from her already That's the last time I leave anyone's frontal lobe intact we Got a new specimen last quite the specimen he is it's you no I was rooting for you I put myself in your shoes. I supported your your classroom antics. This is how you treat me make the world you want to live in Eve on the other hand is blossoming we need to do something about that should have had some more Wolfsbane on staff. What is going on? Those what? Are normal levels oh. for Monster Girl. When she was injured, I immediately dispatched a drone to the Arctic. He has drones. That just enhances his powers. He could be in any one of them, right? That might come up again. The multiple body thing. He could just beam his consciousness to anyone, or just inhabit multiple bodies at once. Show me. You sure did. <sighs> she already knows. This is just to give her the will to do what? I don't even know what she's gonna do. War woman's armor. Sodium crystals. Aquarius. Those are from dark. It's funny that she was acting so indifferent in the beginning, but she's a super fan herself. A few of my other clients. I'm too scared to tell anyone. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> right, super hearing. Or does he? Did he hear that, or was that just ominous? Is that just him suspecting? Do we even know the full extent of their powers? I feel like they could just pull new ones out, and it wouldn't. Wouldn't really be a surprise. I'll go down to the store and grab some beer. Maybe by then things will cool down and we can get this weekend back on track. Sound good? This guy's the man. <laughs> it's too bad he's about to become a zombie. This is so great, but I feel like the problem is it's a little bit lonely. Take me flying. No, I don't even want to be invincible anymore. Shut oh. your mouth. Yeah. What a, you being what a, a gift! Hero is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, you, you'll find it. She always does. Girl, I'm not so sure this time. I get it though. When you're in love, that's one of the unfortunate things about our natural wiring that we'll always prioritize the the beautiful thing that's real in our hands over the potential beauty that we can only imagine but have yet to see. Which, on some level, has to be greater than everything that we know in some in some sense. Although I guess the good news is that can be learned, but it can never really be truly truly felt on the scale it exists, I think. It ends up existing on like a faith type layer of thought. Can I try it on? What? The suit? The suit. Can I try? <laughs> Absolutely not. Speaking of missing the big picture, you know, Will is a good good man, good right hand man. Low key mega party at our house tonight? A fraternity. Yeah, but like the okay kind that isn't super douchey. Let's not generalize here. Everything okay with the lovebirds? Do not turn off that face cam. Yikes. Well, I'll be back soon and we can. The face cam is keeping you Oh, I guess it wasn't keeping you alive. Mark! Amber! She just left. Got invited to some party. 
Oh, you can go too. Yeah. Something happened to Rick. We were on the phone and it cut Forget off. Rick. Ember's at the fraternity party. <laughs> right. Maybe I should get my ass kicked more often. Then rejoin the team at Guardians HQ. I will remain here until Monster Girl recovers. That's very cold, even for Robot. <laughs> Does he care about Monster Girl or is she like his specimen? It can be both. <laughs> you stayed with me? I never left. That'll teach you to judge a robot, or will it? Thank God they left that shoe right by the sewer. You see they now. Will really likes Rick to get into that, that sewer after him. But this, I feel, is not the right behavior. I mean, it's okay to be mad at Mark, but... Are you there? Rick? Love makes us do crazy things. That's why Will is in the sewer and why Mark is at a fraternity party. And you, you dressed him in plaid. <laughs> You know, he had to wear that suit when he met the president. Well, this is awkward. So I guess he didn't hear through the walls. He's feeling it out. Well, we know that Amber falls in love with people who take punches for her, so... Here's a great opportunity. Not all parties. There's a ton of great programs here. The profs are solid. The labs are new. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that fraternities and sororities are uh, philanthropies. Which are covers for drinking, but, you know, nevertheless. I don't know. I would be sort of upset by this. About her character. <laughs> I mean, that was sort of obvious. Yeah, that's the right call. It's William. William? What did you do with William? It's not William, is it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Rick? I love him fast. It's no use appealing to his emotions. I removed them myself. No! <laughs> That's a green minute there, but I like how his emotions are just his brain. No! No! Stop! You ruin yourself! <laughs> there you go. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that meddling humanity. Have set humanity back decades. You know who I blame for this? I blame the teacher. <laughs> I blame the educational system. This is a cautionary tale of what happens when you don't foster debate and dialogue. I feel like there's a high chance I would be a villain, honestly. You're not going anywhere, asshole. <laughs> Damn! Damn, Will! Oh my god! That was savage. Saving the human race from disease. Oof. I'm sorry. Just lost it. Don't beat yourself up. I would have done the same thing. He's alive. Impressive technology, though. Especially for something built in a sewer. Oh, See? is this gonna come back? Feels like a lot of these elements are building into each other. If I'm Mark right now, I'm super worried about what Amber's doing. Oh. It's worth resolving first, one way or the other. And here comes the loneliness. Oh, she's just satisfied with her day. That's, that's... Very wholesome and refreshing. Why? Oh, are we out in the open now? I know you killed them, Nolan. You're drunk. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, do do not wait on this conversation. Fuck you, Nolan. How do you, you... You don't recover from this, I guess. And this is something you can't overpower. Yeah, yeah. This is super dangerous. He's already kind of unhinged. But that's like the one thing, or one of the only things, you know, keeping him tethered to this mortal world. Doesn't matter how strong you are, if the things that you need in your life start to unravel, it'll just take down the whole ship. As physically strong as Omni-Man is, this kind of thing will will turn you into a child. This is his existential core that's unraveling, in, in, to a large degree. And I feel like this is the moment where the gravity of what you've done, of your wrongdoing, starts to hit you. Doing wrong is bad enough if you have a conscience, but then having other people turn on you because of your wrongdoing, it makes the realization of that wrongdoing all the more potent. And there's no undoing this. That's one of the most frustrating things in these moments. And I feel like all of that is amplified so greatly in potency because of how he views himself as like this ultimate man. How could I, savior of the universe, be having trouble at home or have my character be called into question by myself, no less, to some extent? Maybe, you'd hope. It's a nice shot looking at himself through the hole in his house. It says it all. What do we got this time, I wonder? I don't know, man. My stepdad could lose his job at the White House for this. Come on, stop being a wuss, Matt. Oh, it's Matt. 
Oh no, is Matt returning to a life of crime? Things are going so well. We dig up the immortal, drink from his skull, and wham! We get his powers. Easy as shit, man. It's just a rumor. Dude, I saw it on Reddit. <laughs> well, in that case. Don't everything you read on the internet, kids. I don't know, it's Reddit, though. <laughs> Reddit is one of the best places for information. Reddit has rarely seen me wrong. I mean, in fact, I feel like one of the best ways to get real answers to things is to add the word Reddit to the end of your query. Google will give you all sorts of BS. So drinking from the skull probably will make them immortal. It's just that usually these things also have a, a cost, you know, a monkey paw type cost. So it's very exciting to me that the Omni-Man thing is out in the open now. Part of the fun is how terrifying it is because what happens to Omni-Man, who's clearly on some level already unhinged, when you take away the last element of his normal life, things he, he seems to value. He's talked a lot about not bringing it home, right? And having a separation. And so he's probably able to do a lot, a lot of the things he does for better and for the terrible because he knows he has sort of this rock to come home to, but now the rock has been smashed. It's a great metaphor, Alex. And for someone who has the clear propensity for emotional instability and extreme wrath, where does he go from here? And then on the slice of life side, I really like the university trip. The Amber stuff is not my favorite, just because I think she's an amazing character, at least as we've seen her in some of the episodes. And it feels like she's being reduced a little bit to just the trope of like, I don't understand my superhero boyfriend. So I hope that gets resolved in a way where we can return to the, their dynamic, which is very interesting. Although, I mean, it seems pretty clear to me, just based on clues that Eve is gonna get lonely and come back and then Mark has a choice between like this girl who is always mad at me and this girl who totally gets me and adores me. As I said, water flows downhill and that is definitely downhill. So yeah, we only have two episodes left. I'll see you next time when Mark and Amber make up and then fight again, maybe.